Hi, it's Andy again, and I have another Firebase tutorial for you today. This one's going to be on the database. Um, Firebase has a real-time database that automatically updates your apps uh, in real-time and also caches a, a copy of it on a device in times when a cellular network isn't available and then syncs back up when everything is um, when a connection to the database can be restored. Uh, what we're going to do today is display these three uh, items onto uh, a list view inside of the, well it's going to be a recycler view, but it's going to be in a list on site in an Android app. Um, this is going to be a modified version of the friendly chat application that is uh, in the documents for Firebase. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking it and making it much more simpler and just focusing on just the database portion of this. Uh, next we're going to go into the authorization that's going to be in the next application uh, or the next segment of this application. So first of all let's get into what we're going to need for this app. We're first going to need um, to grab the Firebase database uh, into your Gradle project and uh, we're also going to need this uh, Firebase UI and I'll discuss why we're, we're going to need that in a little bit in our main activity. But it's a specific tool um, to make our recycler view much more responsive and easier to work with. So we'll cover that later, but you're going to need this one and this one, uh, as well as also, you might as well import the, uh, the support library and the design library. Um, then we're going to go into the design. So our our actual view is uh, pretty simple. All it is is a recycler view here. There's nothing to it. It's just pretty simple. Um, and inside of a relative layout. So you don't need to actually use a relative layout. The friendly chat ap uh, application has a bunch of other stuff in here including ads and an edit text on the bottom. Um, you can just use a view with the recycler view and be done with it. All right, uh, next we want to show what's going to be inside every single um, list item. So we're going to have three text views. We're going to have the name of the place, since we're doing escape rooms, the name of the escape room, what their address is, which is, I'm just putting um, like the city, and then the website URL. So if I go into here, you can see we have the address, the name, and the URL for every single one except for this last one. And I'll show you why we're gonna we're gonna add this on the fly later and show you how it updates the UI automatically. Alright, so we're gonna close that up for now. Alright, so we've discussed our main activity, the gradle, and the how uh, each item is gonna look on inside the list. So let's actually go into our object, which is an escape room. So this is just an easy, simple um, Java object. The Basically the most important thing to know here is you're going to want to initialize each variable and name them uh, here exactly as you name them on the website or on your database. So address matches address, name matches name, and URL matches URL. So as long as you keep those all the same, everything links up properly and puts the stuff automatically in the right spot. And the magic for that is actually in the utility that I'll be going over in a little bit that comes with that Firebase UI uh, library. So then for each item we have our setters and getters and if you don't know how to easily make a setter and getter you can just on your variables go into generate and you can do getter and setter and it'll add your getters and setters for you. I have them already created so there's no real point in me doing that. Uh, okay so now we can get into the meat and potatoes of this application which is the Java programming. So like I said before I'm basing this off of the friendly chat so there's a lot of stuff in here that's actually I'm going to be commenting out because we're not going to go over it until the next um, the next tutorial, which is going to be on authorization or logging people into your app. All right, so basically we have 
our view holder which is going to be for our recycler view and um, you just initialize all three of your variables here so we have our room name our address and our URL and we link them up to the text views that are associated with um, each list item so if you go into here you'll see that name address and URL are all linked here name address and URL okay next we're gonna create a variable here called rooms and notice that we're gonna name this exactly the way that we have in our database here uh, this is going to tell us which root of the database to tap into for our recycler view later on. Uh, this is for logging purposes, which I'm not logging, so we don't need that. All right, so then we have our recycler view and our linear layout manager uh, for the recycler view. Uh, next, we need to initiate, uh, this is going to be our database reference. So this is going to use this part up here in a little bit when we initialize it and then we also have the the key, true thing which is what we need the uh, Firebase UI which is a Firebase Recycler Adapter and it takes uh, your object and your view holder and this is how everything is going to link up automatically in the back so you really have to do very little work to get everything going which is awesome okay so now we set up our view uh, initialize our recycler view then we initialize our linear layout manager uh, so set stack from end um, I believe this just starts on the bottom for the linear layout manager um, I'm not actually sure what this line of code is I'll go look into it if, and answer any questions if you have uh, then we have to set out set our layout manager and the recycler view and then now we get to go into our reference so here's our M Firebase database reference uh, we need to get the instance of our uh, Firebase app which is all going to be linked into that JSON folder that I showed you how to uh, put into the, your application to link your back end to your front end and then you just call get reference and then our Firebase adapter when we initialize that we put in our object again and our view holder and then it takes four arguments here so we have to link our object the layout the view holder again and uh, the Firebase database reference and we're specifically saying that rooms child so this is going to be very specific to you can have a nice long database but this is going to go straight to that root that you want so this is going to be child um, rooms sorry uh, then we create a populate view holder so this is what's going to do all the work in the back end for you uh, right in here in this so we call our view holder and take the object or the view root name and then we're going to put in the text for um, the escape room which is your model and we're going to call get name and that's in the getters and setters for it's it's the getter for for name so get name get address and get URL are all going to be called right here. So get name, get address, and get URL. Okay, last we need to set up the Firebase adapter and register data observer. And then let's expand this out so we can see it. So this has a, a method called on item range inserted. Um, so basically, what I got from the comments is that this is going to keep your the newest item uh, populated on the bottom at all times so see it's gonna if the last visible position is less than one but like this little code here is you can just copy it from the friendly chat or from this project but this is going to keep the most recent item that we add into our online database as visible and as the most current item. Alright, 
All right, then. I'm pretty sure we already set our recycler view, set layer. So we can actually get rid of this up here since it's actually duplicate code. And then set register our adapter with the recycler view. And then we're good to go. This should actually run now. So let's run this on our emulator. So here's our emulator. Oh wait, nothing's showing up. Oh, actually, I, I knew this was gonna happen. So this is gonna be pretty cool. So we're gonna go back into our database here. So here's our three objects. On the top here, you'll see rules. Now we haven't created an authorization, um, any accounts yet. So this little um, code here for read and write access is saying only if only grants read and write access if the authorization is not null but it is in our case so we actually want to change this little bit here we'll copy it and put true and hit publish now we don't have to recompile the app or do anything like that we just have to rerun it so now when we run the app again hey look our list is populated but now let's uh, show you something really cool. So here's the last URL that we need to insert into our database. So let's add it. And it take this is JSON object, so it's a key value pair. So we'll put URL to match all of our other stuff. And we'll put our URL there. And then when you hit enter, look, magically appeared on our app. We didn't have to do anything, no refreshing or anything like that. That's how cool. Uh, all the back end stuff works for you. All right, so if you like this tutorial, please let me know. If you want to see something else? Uh, also, please leave a comment. Hope you have a good night. Bye.